It was day two in court for an injunction hearing as the University of Toronto argues the pro-Palestinian encampment that's been set up on campus since early May should be dismantled. Today, lawyers for the protesters laid out their side. Lorena Redekop joins us now uh, from the courthouse on University. And Lorena, take us through their arguments today. Well, first, Kelda, I'll tell you that it's been a long day in court and it's still going now. Day two of this injunction hearing. Most of the day it has been uh, the protesters side, their lawyers giving their argument, saying that while their protest and encampment may make people uncomfortable, it doesn't reach the level of irreparable harm. That's what they're saying. And they say their clients have a right to protest. They refuted everything that we had heard from the U of T's lawyers yesterday. One example of that is they put up the projection of the image of the university's president, Merrick Gertler. It showed with blood on his hands. Uh, he's Jewish, and yesterday the U of T's lawyers uh, said that this plays into an anti-Semitic trope. Evidence, they say, that uh, messages from the encampment are hateful and cause harm. What we heard today, though, from the protesters' lawyers, they called that allegation allegation unfounded, exaggerated, and not a reasonable interpretation. They also presented the encampment as peaceful and uh, saying that members there are trained to de-escalate conflicts. They also said that protesters should not be the ones who are held responsible for things coming out of counter-protests. Now, as for why this protest, they say, needs to be an encampment, they say that this is the only way that the protesters' voices are being heard. They said that with previous forms of protest, that the university really wasn't budging on its position. And now they've been having these negotiations, so they say that it is uh, successful for them. Uh, now we're into day 49 already. And they also said that given uh, the seriousness of what's happening in Gaza with thousands of deaths, uh, and the bombing as well of every single university there, that this is an important and urgent issue for the protesters. Uh, they also argued that a university isn't private property in the same way as, for example, a home or a construction site. Uh, what we have heard from the university is that, yes, this is private property, this is trespassing, and uh, subject to all the rules of the university so that they can't be occupying it there. Uh, yes, Yesterday as well, U of T's lawyers compared this to another case, the Occupy protest in 2011 with the protesters evicted. This side today, they chose another case to compare it to, the pro-Palestinian uh, encampment at McGill. And that one is still going. We don't know how the judge is going to rule on this one. We also don't know when his decision could come. All right, thanks so much, Lorenda. That's our Lorenda Redekop live for us tonight.